Hi, video one. Um, so I wanted to introduce your summative project to you. Um, I'm actually recording um, Friday <laughs> while it's snowing outside. Oh, now it's starting to melt. Um, not Monday, so I'll probably be referring to the wrong day. Um, but I did want to let you guys know that um, any of the assignments that you have done, I've graded and putting the put them on Infinite Campus. Um, they waited a long time to let us kind of actually input um, scores because um, it can't bring your grade down. Um, so if you do see an exempt, that means that you, um, you might have done the project, um, but you didn't score a proficient or above. Um, so I just kind of kept it as an exempt. So you knew that I did grade it, that I did see your input, um, but I didn't want it to bring down your score. If you see a blank, that just means that I'm waiting for you to do it to bring um, your grade up. And um, so let's go over the rest of the calendar. I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay. So here you can see, um, I'm just going to go over from the very beginning. It's really important that you guys watch that presentation about cuts and transitions. Um, and then there was a quiz um, after you actually watched the presentation. Um, then you guys did a video analysis um, of uh, one of your favorite movies, just a clip from it, and actually analyzed it talking about um, cuts and transitions that were used in the film. Um, then you guys watched a documentary about King Kong and all the different careers and ways that they um, capture and then organize sound for a major motion picture. Um, then you had a whole week where I, one, one, one a day, you guys got these videos about recording sound for your film. And we kind of continued because we had good Friday on Monday. And then you guys had um, me kind of review the main ideas about recording sounds and microphones and patterns and stuff like that. And then you guys had a sound recording quiz on Wednesday. Um, and then you guys um, had one more video about mixing um, sound in uh, Premiere Pro. And then you had a true and false question uh, uh, quiz there. And now we're here. Um, and so I'll post this presentation that I'm recording right now. And I also have the Google slide for you if you need to kind of go back to that. Um, so the last um, thing that you guys are going to be doing is a um, project that you won't film. <laughs> and you guys are basically going to do the log line, the plot structure, and storyboards for a final film that incorporates what you've learned about cuts and transitions as well as sound. Okay, so that's how you're going to show um, you know, me what you've learned and that will be your final um, summative for the semester. And then notice that the last week of school, I'm assuming that school is going to continue to be online, that we have mastery exams if you still need to bring up any of your grades to proficient at that time. Okay, so let me bring up um, my presentation for this final summative just to kind of review the objectives and the standards. All right, so you will have a week to complete the log line, um, the plot structure one week, and then you'll have about two and a half, three, four weeks, depending if you're a senior or not, um, to, to do the storyboards, okay? Um, now, and I'll also note that I did, um, the log line is um, just fill in the blanks on Canvas. Um, the plot structure, I gave you, um, the form that you could do PDF, you know, on your iPad, as well as the storyboards can be done on your iPad. But if it is, if it is easier for you to draw a witch's hat on a piece of paper and draw it by hand and just take a picture of it, that is totally fine to upload it to me. Um, same with storyboards. I don't know how you do that with multiple pictures, except take a picture of each of your storyboards. That is easier for you to do by hand and not do it on your iPad. That's totally fine. Um, and then um, I'll probably actually put an alternative assignment for both of those so you can upload um, or you could just email me instead of actually, you know, actually uploading it to, um, you know, doing the PDF. So just let me know. Um, I'm totally open to that as long as you're just doing it. So the idea is that you are completing the pre-production assignments, the log line plot structure storyboards for this final film, and it incorporates um, music sound effects and voice. So those three things, you have to make notes about what kind of music you're gonna use, um, incorporate sound effects somehow, and it has to have voice, either a narrator or subjects are just talking to each other or talking in a movie. And it also has to make use of those cuts and, or 
and or transitions that we've learned about. So I should, you should at least incorporate one of those kinds of cuts or transitions and make note of it in your storyboards um, that is applying what you've learned about the different kinds of cuts and transitions. Um, and then I should be able to identify in your storyboards that use of those, those three things as well as cuts and or transitions um, so that you're applying the editing and sound theories that we learned about. For enrichment, maybe you want to get an A in this course and um, you want a four. Um, you guys can use either your iPad or your phone or a camera if you have it, if you have a GoPro or something like that. Um, actually film it. And um, you guys can use any editing software. Um, you do have access to Premiere Pro now, um, just using your Google school um, username and password to download Premiere Pro. Um, also on your iPad, there's access to Premiere Rush. Um, so that's, you know, editing. Um, you could, you know, film with your iPad and then edit on your iPad as well. It's a little trickier with your finger than a mouse. But you guys can also use iMovie. Um, I know that I started loving film. I had a Mac and I saw iMovie was free. And there's a lot of fun stuff to do in iMovie. And that's what I had a lot of fun doing when I was young um, with my friends, just making really stupid iMovies. But one of the first kinds of movies I made was a horror movie, just because there were so many sound effects and so many fun things and transitions already built into iMovie. Um, same with Sony Ve Vegas. I mean, there's a ton of different kinds of um, editing software you can use. I don't care what you use, just as long as I get a final file, like a dot um, M .mpeg or dot .mov or some kind of file that I can open in the end. Um, to watch. So that doesn't matter to me. You just can't send me an iMovie file. You can't send me a Sony Vegas file. It has to just be an exported video file. So I'm really open to that. Um, so again, make sure that sound is incorporated. So you need to include notes about voice, music, and sound effects in your storyboards. So for example, in your storyboard, um, you might say something like song, my girl by the temptation starts as our main character's crush walks through the door. The music stops abrupt, abruptly when the crush walks by the main character and doesn't notice him. Okay, so that would be a great kind of paragraph to put in um, action um, and dialogue, you know, underneath your storyboard as the scene's happening. Um, you're making note of music, a song, and you're also making note of how it's going to be, you know, abruptly cut. It's not going to fade in or out or, you know, um, you can almost see this scene playing in the head. So, so this would be an example of you making note of music in your storyboards. Um, make sure that you include notes about sound effects. So um, if you say something like sounds of creaking doors or wind is playing as a character walks through a dark room alone, you know, to add more suspense to a scene, um, then you're making note that you've actually are going to incorporate these sound effects if you were actually editing it. Last but not least, we have voice dialogue. Um, so make these were, we kind of learned these and I'm just reminding you of when you're doing your storyboards and this is things, things that you would write in the script as well, is that um, remember that your characters are all in capitalized letters and anything they say is gonna be in quotes while anything that they do in action would be in parentheses. So it says Batman says actual, hey, he says, hey. Um, and then he's looking around for an answer, um, but he's not actually saying that, it's just something he's doing. Um, say you're doing a documentary and usually you do a lot of voiceover for it, um, you'd put the um, abbreviation VO um, for voiceover. Um, and so you'd say VO and then it says, you know, she's like, growing up, um, blah, blah, blah. And I, I always think of there, there's this like the meme going around where it's like Morgan, Morgan Freeman always says voiceovers and it's like, but she didn't do that, did she? So it's, I just like laugh about that. All right. Next, you have to make notes about editing, okay? So you should include notes about cuts and or transitions. Um, so in your storyboard, um, you could say like in the actions, cross cut to Batman and Robin who are on the phone in different locations. Notice that if, if you're mentioning a character, they should be in all caps. Um, and remember that the kind of cuts that you could use as a cross cut, usually used for like a phone call when you're like something's going on at the same time, but you're going back and forth between characters while time is linear. Um, a match cut, um, like we saw with the match going out and then the sun being in the same position. Um, jump cut usually used as like time has pa is passing. Um, cutaway, um, we saw um, that example from um, um, Marty McFly, you know, and the 
the time machine going in back to the future and then it, you know, the, the spinning um, uh, license plate and then back to them. So a cutaway or um, cutting on action. Um, so the, it's actually cutting when something's going on um, and it continues the motion. So those are the kinds of cuts. You can use one, you can use it over and over again. You could use a combination and, or you could use transition. So again, you're just making notes. So it might say something like the final, frame fades out to black and then the credits roll. Um, and so we have a dissolve, which is like two um, scenes that dissolve into each other. Um, you have a fade in or a fade out, fade to black, fade to white, fade in, in from white or fade in from black. Um, iris, that kind of funny, you know, circle that goes in and out. A smash cut, which is very abrupt. We have a wipe. We saw a lot of those in Star Wars. Um, an invisible cut where we don't even know. So we talked about if you've seen the movie 1917 yet, um, it looks like it was taken all one cut and we just actually follow this character all through the entire movie and there's not actually one cut because it's just made with invisible cuts the whole time. Um, he goes through a dark room, um, he go, you know, there's an explosion and we didn't realize that there was a cut made there. Um, and then we have the audio cuts. So the L cuts and the J cuts where you could say music continues, but the next scene starts. Um, you know, scene starts, but the, you know, the audio, you know, uh, the audio starts before the actually scene cuts. And then we have MTV cut. Maybe you're deciding to do a music video and you're making note that you're making cuts on the beat. Okay. So final film ideas, um, documentary lends really well because imagine a lot of documentaries have voiceover. So there's voice, right. And then usually you have music and then it's really easy to kind of like have different sound effects, you know, in transitions through documentary. Another really good idea is a horror film or a thriller, because again, lots of sound effects, lots of scary movies, and you have people screaming and all that kind of stuff. So you would have dialogue. Um, another good idea is music video because the music kind of tells the story through and um, you might have to have like a beginning or a story in the, the center or at the end, or maybe, you know, there is a little scene right before the music video starts where there's some interaction or some sound effects, or maybe you have to use a sound effect at the end to like finish the film. Um, also you could do parody. So um, one group already did this, The Office, you guys have seen things, you can make a parody of um, a commercial or you can make a parody of a movie or a TV show that already exists. Um, and again, you're just combining music from that and everything like that, um, or commercial. And you can make you know fun of commercials that are really funny, um, that are advertising these things and people are like over dramatic in the in in info commercials, info commercials. Um, so those are just some ideas. You don't have to do any of these, but all of these kinds of film ideas kind of lend itself to, you know, this um, mixture of music and sound effects and, and voice. So um, those are places you could start with. Um, so I have within the um, presentation um, a lot of, so I'm combining these two projects together into one where you're showing me evidence that you learned about editing and you're showing me evidence that you've learned about sound. We were supposed to do a editing video and then we were supposed to do a sound video. Um, so these are sound examples, students that, you know, made, um, um, videos that incorporate sound effects, music, and dialogue. And these are editing examples where they incorporated cuts or transitions. Um, so watch all of them so you can get, and you'll see there's commercials, there's um, parodies, there's horror, thrillers, all kinds of stuff. So um, documentaries, there's just, they're all different. Um, so it's really kind of open with kind of genre you want to do. And um, here are the standards that you'll be assessed on. So 2.2, um, I'm going to look at your log line, your plot structures, and your storyboards um, to make sure that you've done all the planning. And then 4.1 is the solution. Does the storyboard include notes about the use of cuts slash transitions and music slash sound effects slash voice? Okay, so that's what I'm looking for to meet those objectives. Um, and then here is when I'm grading it, my little checklist for you. Did you do um, the log line and the storyboards? Forget about brainstorming because I'm not expecting you to do the, this is, this is like taken from the, lo the lab guide and obviously you're not doing the lab guide because we're doing this digitally. So I'm looking that you've done the log line, the uh, plot structure and the storyboard. And then um, notice that there's two um, 4.1s because this was supposed to be originally two videos. Did you include music, sound effects, and voice in your storyboard? And 
uh, 4.1 for editing, did you um, utilize cuts and or transitions in your storyboards like you would actually do in your film? So um, this week, just your log line, work on that. And then um, next week, I'm going to have a live class section for you guys to check in. And I won't be teaching anything. It's really just if you guys want to see each other. Um, I know you guys are all friends anyways. You probably are talking to each other. But if you guys want to see each other live, and if you have any um, questions or you just wanted to bounce off your um, film idea onto somebody else or ask what they're doing, um, just going to devote you know, the 20 minutes we have in our schedule to that. Um, so look out for an invitation from me from Zoom um, to if you wanted to log in live. I'm sorry that it's so early in the morning. Um, if it was my choice, I'd let you guys log in like in the afternoon or evening to check in for class, but they have that set schedule. So, um, so I miss you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, and I hope the weather gets better this week. So if you guys have any questions about this kind of stuff, just email me. Um, I just want to see you guys get um, your grade up to passing and do well the rest of the semester. And I hope you guys are all doing well. All right. I'll talk to you until next time. Um, again, have a good week. Bye.